Hey what's up guys welcome back to programming knowledge and this is the first video on how to create user login in PHP. This will be a three part video series and this is related to the previous five part video series on how to create user registration form. So in that tutorial we have uh, discussed and learned how to create user registration form and we define its database. So we're going to be using the same database. So the database name is user accounts and it has a table named users and the users has ID, first name, last name, email, phone number and password. So the ID is auto increment and it has a it has a size of 11. The first name is bar char or bar car with 100 as the length last name the same length and the same type email the same also phone number we have the bar chart or bar card 50 uh, as length and password the same 50 as length so as i've said we're going to be using the same database so you can go ahead and create your own database with user accounts and then user stable Okay, and then all these attributes, ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, and password. So we'll be learning how to create this particular login page. And we're going to be using the email and password for our login credentials. And I will be showing you all the steps so that we could get up and running with this login page. So for now, let's create our new project. So go to your local host directory and create a new folder. And let's name it user login. Okay. So we'll be defining a few things or a few files here. So we have the first file will be login.php. And then the second one will be config.php and we also have the uh, index.php and also one for logout.php okay and we'll be uh, placing our images in img folder and css into css folder so open up login.php and let's define the H, uh, html structure for this one so we have a uh, basic structure of our login.php and for the title let's say programming knowledge Okay. We need to include Bootstrap, um, jQuery, and Font Awesome in our project because we're going to be using all those libraries to beautify our HTML structure. Because for now, if you try to visit our page, it's it's empty. So let's go back to our browser and search for the Bootstrap CDN. Also, jQuery CDN and also uh, Font Awesome. Okay, click on this first link for Bootstrap CDN. So we have different files that we have, or we have different files that can be included in our project. So we have the complete CSS. So I'll click the copy and let's go back to our login that PHP so link and of course paste the link that we have copied from the bootstrap CDN page okay and go back to our browser again we need to include the bootstrap minified that CSS click to copy 
and go back again to our login that page we need to make sure to include this at the bottom or before the closing body tag and then for the src paste the code that we have from the bootstrap cdn page again let's go back to our browser and let's click on this jQuery CDN and for now let's use this jQuery 3 point uh, 3 point something version and click on this uh, minified and copy or copy this to clipboard and go back to our code and then uh, paste it above the bootstrap that uh, mean that JavaScript. Okay, so let's just make sure to properly format our code. And the next one will be the font awesome. Okay, click on the font awesome link, the first one, and then start using free. So we have here the link that we could include in our page. So just click on this button. Okay, and go back to our code and make sure to uh, include this below the uh, bootstrap mean.css. Okay, and we need to define a container here. So div with a class container, and of course, uh, another class for its height as 100%. This is specific for bootstrap uh, size. And another div with the class dflex with another class justify content center. And of course, again, the h100. And another div with the class of user underscore card. And another div, duplex again with justify content center class. fix and justify content center and inside here will be the logo for our login page as you can see in our sample page here so we have here the logo so we will define the logo inside this div so that will be inside another div which is with the class of brand underscore logo container and we will define our image here for the logo and let's add a class for our logo which is brand logo and alt text will be Programming knowledge logo. Okay. And for our logo, I have created a very artistic logo. I have summoned my, my creative abilities to create this very awesome uh, logo for our uh, login page. So you could create your own logo. Just make sure to make it circle so it will fit in our login form. So go ahead, so go ahead, copy and paste your logo into our IMG folder in our project. Okay, so make sure to paste this logo or your logo inside this IMG folder. And for the source of our image, let's 
type in img and of course the file name of our logo which is for my case img slash logo dot png and so let's create a new css file so that we could target this class and also this class and we will define styles for this so link and for our reference it will be css and styles that css okay so we have to create this style that css inside our css folder so i create my new css file and save it inside the css folder this will be styles.css and let's target the body and html so this will be margin 0 padding is 0 height height will, uh, height will be 100 percent and background color it will be 63 abc and this should be tagged as important okay and another for the user card and also the brand logo container and another one for the brand logo okay to save us from time i'll just paste in the the rules that applies to this classes and you can pause the video and copy all the classes that or the rules that i'll be pasting in here so we have defined the height for our user card as 400 the width will be 350 pixels margin top auto margin bottom auto background will be f39 c12 position relative display flex justify content center flash uh, flex direction column and so on so all you have to do is pause the video if you want to copy all this uh, styles applied to this user card uh, class and for the brand underscore logo container we have the position as absolute height will be 100 uh, 170 px and also the width top will be negative 75 px border radius just 50 percent background will be 60 a3 bc and padding will be 10 pixels text align center and for our logo will be uh, 150 px or pixels and with as 150 pixels also where uh, border radius as 50 percent and border will be two pixels so uh, solid and white so we'll try to save and uh, preview our page save our style that css and make sure also to save your login that php and go back to our to our browser and reload so i think the css uh, rules are working and we'll continue to work on this form in the next video thanks